Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about Data Universe in the BitTensor ecosystem. Once again, showing how you can access millions of rows of data for parsing and inside purposes. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, grab your free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. It is in the description waiting for you. And let's talk about Data Universe. Okay, jumping straight into it, guys. Data Universe is a subnet on the BitTensor Tau ecosystem that is part of the Macro Cosmos group. They actually have a couple of other subnets under their remit as well, but Data Universe specifically is making large scale social data accessible to everyone when it was previously only accessible to major Web2 companies. You can see that explicitly called out here on their homepage, a gateway to over 55 billion rows of data, and they're adding up to 80 million new rows of data scraped from social platforms like X, Reddit, and YouTube every single day. So very powerful what you can begin to tap into here with Data Universe. The importance of data across different markets cannot be understated, especially in this era of artificial intelligence. Data is the fuel and the importance of that when you're looking at all different types of markets cannot be understated. So many different features here that are part of Data Universe. I'm going to dive into all of them in today's video, but essentially just think about all the different potential use cases that you could be tapping into powerful data from X, Reddit, and YouTube to make your business processes better, garnering insights on specific topics related to your market or your niche. I'm going to show you the power of this in just a moment with some live examples, but on the Data Universe website, the Gravity tool is the tool that we're going to be focusing on today. You can scrape real-time data with Gravity's tool and then get huge data sets that you can download and begin mining for insights. Okay, as I said, Gravity locks onto X, YouTube and Reddit, and you can customize the search filters, the hashtags, the topics and the niches that you wanna hone in on in order to get data and access to over 55 billion rows of scraped information, okay? This is very, very powerful in the era of AI. Like I just mentioned, Data Universe has a number of different partnerships as well. Obviously, internally, if I just bring us back out to macrocosmos.ai, Data Universe is part of that Macrocosmos ecosystem that I just mentioned, internal partnerships with Apex and IOTA, subnets number one and nine respectively. Data Universe is obviously subnet number 13, but the partnerships that they can use internally with that kind of conglomerate of subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem is very, very powerful. And then obviously looking at the clear product market fit that they call out in their market and partnerships area here directly on GitHub, it's also interesting to understand how they're allowing businesses to scrape specific social media data and then tap into um, a whole host of different ways that they can generate revenue, begin to improve internal processes, mine insights from social sentiment. That is the power of what Data Universe is enabling here in an incentivized manner on the BitTensor networks. Okay, so how does Gravity work? How can we use Gravity to scrape data and download a specific data set? Well, if you come back over to Data Universe, you are going to need to sign up and create an account. You can log in and they actually give you $5 worth of free data, which as you will see here in just a moment, gives you access to a huge amount of rows of data from their database. Okay, the marketplace on Gravity looks exactly like this. And one of the other um, <clears throat> you, sorry, one of the other data universe features that you can kind of begin to understand here as we're looking at the marketplace is the fact that you have a whole bunch of different popular data sets that are already compiled that you can access and download. Okay, so these are pre-populated data sets that other users on the marketplace have been parsing and creating to garner and mine insights across these social platforms. And so you're looking at a few different examples here. If I scroll down the page, you know, this is a data set, for example, related to farmers' protests and green policy backlash within the European Union. There is 47,000 records in this specific data set from across both X and Reddit. Okay, energy prices and cost of living discourse in the EU. Again, if you're a business that is basically I don't know, providing alternative 
energy solutions and you want to get a pulse on what's happening with social sentiment across the EU related to energy prices and cost of living discourse, that data set of over 150,000 records is going to allow you to begin analyzing what are people actually saying on X and Reddit? What are people actually talking about? You can begin mining and parsing those 150,000 records for very valuable insights. Okay. Again, nicotine pouches debate in the EU and the US, 42,000 records across X and Reddit. You're starting to be able to access exactly what people are saying and then mine those insights with those 42,000 records, okay? So you can go ahead, if I click into this here, I can purchase this data set related to nicotine pouches and debate for $2. Guys, that's 42,000 records of data across X and Reddit for $2 in price. Phenomenal insights, especially if you are, again, I'm using an example here, but if you're a nicotine pouches business or if you are in the healthcare industry, this particular subject and niche might be of great interest to you specifically. And you can buy 40,000 records of data for $2 in price, okay? That is one of the other use cases, um, another data universe feature that I wanted to mention, but where you might actually find the most value is with regards to actually creating a new scraping data set. <clears throat> Again, if I come over here to the top right corner or in the left-hand panel, I can click on new task. This allows me to create my own custom data scraping set and download a data set directly, okay? Again, this will take a few minutes to run, but if you wanted, for example, insights on, I don't know, the N NVIDIA, NVIDIA share price, I can type in NVIDIA share price as the name of my data set. And then again, I can specify the date range. If I wanna gather data for the past, uh, you know, three months, going back to the beginning of September here to the middle of November, I can garner that data and scrape both X and Reddit if I want to, to get insights between September 1st and November 16th. Again, I can just do X or just Reddit alone. Let's say I only want to do X data. I can filter it by a specific hashtag or keyword. I'm going to use keyword here. I'm going to say NVIDIA share price. That allows me to add that keyword. And now when I launch this data collection, uh, Data Universe's Galaxy is going to begin parsing X in real time, getting me all the records related to the NVIDIA share price discussion and discourse that has happened on X between September 1st and November 16th. And it's going to give me a downloadable CSV that I can access to begin parsing and mining that data myself. Okay. Very interesting. Again, this is going to take a few minutes to run. It might take five, 10, 15 minutes to get a comprehensive data set of records that you can then begin downloading. It's going to give you an estimated price and you can customize how many of those records you want to download. You may not want to download all of them. You can download a part of them as well. So I wanted to share that example, but I have a data set that I already um, downloaded myself. If I go back to the marketplace for the um, for the actual Galaxy Marketplace, and I search here just for an example, I was doing an example earlier for the Taiwan Semiconductor Supply Chain. And again, if we click into this data set, there is over 3,000 records across both X and Reddit, and I actually purchased and downloaded this specific data set. And what I got is an output of this CSV for records across both X and Reddit. And as you can see, they have shortlisted all of these individual records from people discussing Taiwanese supply chain manufacturing insights across Reddit and X. And then I have this huge data set that I can begin garnering insights from. Okay, just think about the power here. I can then use these insights, all of this data to plug into maybe my other, another favorite um, AI model, and I, I can begin analyzing what people are actually saying here. What is the social sentiment around Taiwanese um, chip supply chains at this moment in time? And what kind of insights can I garner from it? So just think about the power of that. It gives you all of the access. It gives you individual URLs. It gives you individual usernames of the people who are actually discussing all of that information and those insights. And same thing for X. It gives me the information and the insights about the usernames, the actual discussions that are happening, direct links to the URL where those tweets are being spoken about. And then again, I think the real power here comes from being able to feed these data 
sets into other AI models to begin extracting and mining insights and then giving you um, decision points that you can make for your business, for yourself, or whatever you need to do with this. Okay, like I said, $5 of free capacity here over on Data Universe. There are so many potential use cases, like I alluded to. If I jump back over here to the homepage on Data Universe, they do a really good job of um, kind of outlining those potential use cases, marketing and brand innovation, for example. You can pinpoint your audience through keyword and hashtag targeting. We just saw it gives us exact URLs, usernames for all the content related to your specific search and export. Again, if we jump back here, AI model training, you can correlate social data chatter across different market movements, building predictive models, forecasting and prediction, curating social data sets to fine tune conversational AI. Again, the power here is going to be what you do with the records you generate and feeding and garnering insights and mining insights from all of that data. They are some of the potential use cases the data universe call out specifically on their website. So, so many different data universe features, so many potential use cases with what you can do with their database of over 55 billion records. Like I said, 80 million records being added every single day. I'm going to leave a link to data universe and macro cosmos in the video description. So make sure to check that down below. But the importance of these data sets across different markets cannot be understated. Like we saw over on gravity directly, there are so many different markets in this marketplace already that you can begin to download pre-populated data sets from so many dataverse uh, partnerships with their internal um, subnets related to what we just looked at here with Macrocosmos, um, Apex and IOTA. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot more cross collaboration and partnership opportunities with that here in the new uh, in the near future. And I showed you how to use Gravity to scrape data and download data sets. The power is in your hands now to go and test this out. Again, um, another use case or another use of Data Universe features being the pre-populated data sets that we looked at here. So check this out yourself, guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You're going to be able to run your own scraping task. You're going to be able to download a data set and get insights with even just that first initial $5 of free uh, data set scraping that Macrocosmos are gifting you. So check that out. You're going to be able to access tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of rows of data with that five free dollars. Check it out for yourself. I will leave a link in the description below and let me know, are you bullish on data universe yourself? That is it for today's video, guys. If you got any value out of this data universe deep dive, please take three seconds to smash that thumbs up button below. Let's do it right now under my finger on your screen. Smash that thumbs up button on your YouTube screen. I really appreciate it. It helps to spread the good word. Make sure to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification icon. Grab your copy of the rise of Bitcoin in the description and we'll catch you in the next one.